Hey y'all and good morning. I am just putting things back together. I am not scrambling. I guess I must be kind of scrambling because I, I said it subconsciously, I said it. So I'm trying to put things back together because Kat and Joe come tomorrow and the room that Catherine is staying in looks like this, not cute. And I needed to get it sort of, sem at least like kind of cute. Am I right? Am I right? So, okay, that's gonna wait. Um, I've got, the guest bedroom is done. It's straightened up. I'm just gonna add some flowers to the nightstand. But other than that, the guest bedroom is complete. It's cleaned vacuumed, free, uh, freshly washed sheets. Just gonna add some fresh flowers and maybe, I don't know, like a little figurine or something to the side table there. But um, that is done. The kitchen, living room, and my office, the cat room, and the other extra guest bedroom is not. There's not it, what this will take me like this area right here will take me one solid hour of just like focusing on it and getting it done But that's the key When do I have a solid hour of just being able to do that? I typically don't but I'm gonna not I'm gonna go take a shower really quick and load up and go to work and Take some of the stuff that needs to be sorted with me and work on that there and then I'm just gonna work. I've got a couple things. I'm transferring over the HOA management to somebody else. So I've got a couple things that we've got to get done today. And then I can kind of breathe a little bit easier. I've gotta make sure the wing mom's posts are all scheduled and ready to go for the next, I would say three weeks because I'm going out of town next weekend. And I don't wanna worry about it like, I wanna make sure everything is posted. I wanna make sure everything is good to go. I wanna make sure that we're all on top of stuff. So. I am gonna do that. I'm gonna work on that today. And then I have tomorrow I have tomorrow morning to do stuff too. Tomorrow morning I don't have anything planned. I'm not even gonna go to the office, or at least that's not my plan. I don't plan on going to the office. And um I just looked at my calendar for tomorrow and it doesn't look like I have anything on it. Not even to pick up cat and Joe's. <laughs> Need to add that to my calendar so I know when. Um so uh yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Um, and, uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm distracted. I have these, these are those like game pieces from the Tom Thumb Monopoly and you can get free stuff. So I was gonna kind of get, see if I have any more bagels, cause tomorrow morning, okay. Let's, let's, let's make a plan. I said last night I was gonna make a plan and I didn't. So tomorrow, Cat and Joe come. And what I want to do is in the morning, get up and go to Tom Thumb, pick up all the free bagels that I've won in this Tom Thumb game thing that they do, and donuts, and put those, have those here at the house for our guests. All of the guests that are coming over at various times. So um, I wanna have that and any of the other freebies that I need. And then I need to get stuff for the tostada bar because I, my mom's bringing beans and cheese and the cakes. She's bringing two cakes because we're celebrating birthdays too. So um, I'm going to bring or provide drinks, everything else basically, drinks, but I need onion, I need lettuce, I need tomato. I'm assuming my dad's bringing hot sauce. I need to get some guac or make some guac, and um, yeah, I need to make myself a list. But I'm gonna do that in the morning, and then I think they come in at 1.30. Pretty sure they come in at 1.30. So if they come in at 1.30, then I will have, um, I have the whole morning, because I don't need to leave to go to the airport, because the airport's the closer one, so I don't need to leave until like, I would say 12.30 ish 12:45 depends on if they come in at 1 30 like 12 45 is fine um but i'll go do that and then 
pick them up. And then when we come home, we're going to eat with one of his friends um, who's coming through from Van, Texas, which is east of us. So he's coming through town. <coughs> so we're going to go eat dinner with him. And then Thursday, I'm not, still not sure what we're doing Thursday or Friday. Kind of want to go to Waco Friday, but i um, not sure what everybody else wants to do. So I got to find out from them. And then Saturday, we have the Tour of Homes, Swiss Avenue Tour of Homes. Where we have, we're going to go to the Farmer's Market. And then that night, we're having, um, I technically could wait to get my tomatoes and onions then. Maybe I'll do that. Because then they'll be fresh from the Farmer's Market. And if I don't go to the Farmer's Market, I'll just go to the store. So maybe I'll do that. But again, if I'd written this all out, I would know, right? All right, so that's the plan. I don't think Marvin is going to go to Washington. He hasn't texted me yet. And I told him he needed to text me ASAP that he's confirmed he can take off so I can go ahead and buy the ticket. Because now I'm afraid there's not going to be a ticket at the same time I'm flying. And then he's not going to want to go at all. So anyway, it is what it is. But I'm a little disappointed. I'm not going to lie. Because I thought that would be fun. It'd be a great surprise. The kids would love it. But it's okay. Um... I need to get moving. Otherwise, it's it's already 10:30. So, I need to be, I'm going to be at work by like 11:15 and including getting a hot chocolate. So, I need to skedaddle. I'm just going to go with wet hair cuz again, I'm not really uh, this is just my day to get all the wrapping up the loose ends and then cleaning house. So, I don't need to look fancy. I'm not going anywhere. Uh, I spent this morning cleaning up the guest bedroom, got that all done, got that all cleared out. I got the guest bath done. Um, oh, I switched out. You didn't notice, but I had a small round basket. I showed you guys when I, I think I showed you guys when I made that round basket. And I switched out the green ribbon that was in there for the white ribbon. And then um, that's what I just put the extra toilet paper roll in. So for this powder bath over here, I put that, I moved that little basket thing into this powder bath, the half bath here. And then I put an extra roll underneath the sink. I need to buy, uh, anyway, so I, I have that done and then I move, I bought, I have another basket I already had this and it, it fits like at least two rolls of toilet paper. And then I thought I would like lay a little, I don't know, hand towel, you know, on it or whatever, make it look cute. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so I'm going to do that. And then, um, yeah. I've got, I still need to buy some pillows. I still need to buy some other stuff. But anyways, I'm just jabbering. I'm just rambling and procrastinating. I've got to get other stuff done. But the guest bath and the um, guest bedroom are done. I just have to work on the rest of the house. No fancy outfit today. But this is what I'm wearing. Just one of my blouses. My daughter... One of my daughters calls this like one of my mom blouses. And I'm like, I don't even know what that means. But I have on skinny jeans, just some flats, nothing too fancy. But that's what I'm wearing today. I just got asked if I could let some in the theater between 1 and 1.30. And I can because I'll be around. And so I'm going to do that. Got my sunnies on to protect my eyes because if you didn't know, I have a freckle on my eye. So my eye doctor likes me to wear glasses, sunglasses, to protect from more freckles happening. I don't know if the cat went in there. I think the cat came out. We'll see. Oh, there he is. One cat a lot of times goes into that bathroom. So I always have to watch and make sure he's not in the bathroom. Then we have to get him out of the bathroom. I'm gonna go. I've really delayed. I said I was going to be at work by 11.15 with hot chocolate in my hand. It's 11.30 and I'm not, I haven't even left. Hey y'all and welcome to Hot Chocolate Chat. Today I'm drinking a hot chocolate from Starbucks and it's an episode of Would You Rather. So, would you rather lose your keys or lose your phone? And we're going to assume you're going to recover it. I think this is an obvious no-brainer. I would be really interested to see if anybody disagrees with me, but I think I would lose my keys. And if you do disagree with me, you got to tell me why, because I'm just like, because I'm about to break it down for you. 
So I'm trying to think of what the worst things that would happen if you lost your keys, but I've got points for all of that. I've got counterpoints. For example, if you lost your keys and your car keys are on there, then you can't go anywhere, but you could call Uber or a friend or an Uber friend. If you lost the keys to your house, you couldn't get in, but you still couldn't get in. I mean, I could get in my garage because I'm an app that allows me to open my garage door, but I still couldn't get in the house because I don't have that kind of lock. And I don't know what other kind of keys you carry on your keychain. I've got keys. I don't have any work keys per se. I don't. I just have car keys. I have my house keys and then I have, yeah, that's it. But if you had an office key or work keys of any, whatever kind, still, but you've got your phone so you could call somebody. So hands down, obvious choice, no brainer. You'd want to lose your keys and have your phone. But if you disagree, convince me, tell me why you feel that way. Because I just, you don't, I can't think of any, no, come at me, bro, with it. If you want to follow me on Snapchat, it's Side of Awesome, and on Instagram and YouTube, it's Our Gray House. But just don't follow me in real life, though, because that's creepy. I'm home. I've already changed. And I'm starting to put stuff away. Marvin is asleep. He's tired. He works hard. And I got, yesterday, didn't show you guys, but look at this junk in my purse. My purse needs to be cleaned out. My bag needs to be cleaned out. Feels like my life needs to be cleaned out. Trying some essential oils today. I can find them in the purse. I'll show you. It was in there earlier. Maybe it's in the hold on. Found it. It was in my zip up part because I didn't want it just falling out and breaking because it's a glass bottle. It's by Young Living. My rep is Courtney and Renfro. And I got Citrus Fresh. And what I'm going to do with it, so I'm going to add some drops to a, a glass bottle, a large glass bottle. I'm gonna add some distilled water, a little bit of rubbing alcohol, and I'm gonna use that to spray on the furniture or kind of around the furniture so that the cats will hopefully stay away from it. Don't know if it'll work, but that's what I'm gonna try because I've read that cats don't really care for the citrus scent, so we're gonna see if that works. So, I am a pile maker. What I know, not a pie maker, a pile maker. What I normally do is put piles of things together like this. And it's got like little stickies saying, hey, file this under warranties. File this here. And then they stay in the stack and I don't file them. And then by the time I get around to filing them, it's probably just trash anyway because something new has come out. So I'm just going to get everything put away right now. Like I said this morning, I'm giving myself a six o'clock right now. I'm giving myself one hour to get it all put away. Assuming Marvin doesn't wake up and, and we eat dinner or something like that. But I'm just going to plow through everything, get everything put away and get ready for tomorrow because I'm going to go early in the morning and get those donuts and bagels that I got for free with the Monopoly game at Tom Thumb and they had some ice beverage water beverage things that i can get for free some pasta for free so i'm gonna get all the free things and then i'm going to um, i have a short list of just little extras that i was going to get cat says they're not really into eating breakfast so much um and and i'm not going to do like i was going to do like little blueberry muffins or something like that but since they're not really into that then i can just kind of forego that and just get um you know some other stuff i'm not going to get the party stuff until probably sometime saturday but i need to get the drinks tomorrow morning because i'm going to see what i'm going to get tomorrow morning and then what i'm going to get fresh on saturday because i need to ice down the drinks on saturday so remember last time I had to ice down the drinks. Yeah, so I got to ice down the drinks. Um, that was for the Easter party though. Whatever. You guys know what I mean. I'm not going to put them in my fridge this time. I'm going to put them in the cooler. And then that way they can just get them from, um, instead of taking up all the room in my refrigerator for drinks that may or may not be drink, 
drinking, then may or may not be drunk. I'm just gonna put them in the cooler and whatever's left over, I'll probably take up to the office and see if anybody else wants them. So, or somebody wants to take them home, whatever. Um, so I'm putting stuff away and I keep stuff like this. We just got new iPhone 10 XS Maxes. Marvin and I both each got one. And so that comes with, of course, the new cord, the power cord. Well, our current power cord is charging just fine. So I'm going to put these in our travel case area. So that way, when we travel, we've got some extra chargers, which I already have some chargers in there. But again, I'm going to put these in a little Ziploc baggie, put it over by the travel stuff. So all the electronic stuff is in one spot. So if we need another charger, I know exactly where to go to get one. It also comes with these earbuds, but I'm not really a big fan. These uh, are not the AirPods. They do have a cord to them, but, uh, and I feel like just this kind hurts my ears. I don't feel it's like soft. I use the marshmallow kind, but um, nonetheless, I'm going to, I don't know how this goes together. I'm going to tuck these again in the travel case because Worst case scenario, I'll have a pair of earbuds for the plane. I don't know that Marvin's gonna go with me because I'm uh, just not sure about him getting off work. And at this point, um, the tickets are starting to go up, so I'm not sure if that's gonna work out or not. But at any rate, I'll have fun. I was hoping he would go with, but yeah, it'll still be fun. Okay, so now it's 6.04, I've been talking for four minutes. <laughs> so I'm gonna go and I'm gonna give myself 56 minutes to clean up the area out here. Oh, and so far the whole trying the citrus thing, can't tell if it's working, not working. They've sniffed it, but they haven't gone, Ugh. So maybe it's not strong enough, but I want it to start out not as strong just in case, because I didn't want it to be like oranges everywhere, you know. So, okay, that's what I'm doing now. I'm gonna go. Bye. Hey, <laughs> it's 10, 20, almost. I'm gonna work for a little bit longer and then I'm gonna call it a night. So I have the kitchen almost all the way done and I'm just gonna run. We've not really used this coffee pot before. We've had it in storage for forever. So I thought I would run the coffee pot real quick like run some water through it gosh and then um, I'm gonna run some water through it to make sure it's all okay and I've got this I've got our wine I've got the chocolates the nieces will be over and they like them normally we have Marvin's Dove chocolate in there but I don't have that right now this stuff goes away this stuff goes away so I have stuff out and when we were building, I said, I'm not going to leave anything out, but I'm leaving some stuff out, <laughs> but it's okay because yeah, you adapt and everything is not necessarily as you first intended it or planned it. So normally I do have the toaster put away and when the company comes over, we're gonna make that the tostada bar, that area over there. And then normally I would have drinks there and have the tostada bar somewhere else, but maybe I'll do that, who knows? Maybe I'll have the tostada bar like right over here on this end of the island and then have drink station over there. I'm not sure, drink station is more for like when it's crisp, like fall or, or colder Christmas time when I'm gonna have a hot chocolate bar. When I have bacon take, I actually have, I bought some things to make a hot chocolate bar. So that's gonna be fun. And um, I've got some other stuff planned uh, for that area. So like if we have company over, we'll have wine over there, we'll have the drinks because that's where I have all the glasses and stuff like that. They're over there. So um, that's what I was planning. And then have like, if we're having a buffet, ta taco bar, we'll have that right here. People can still eat over there. And then of course people can eat at the table and then they've got TV trays too. So when they get here tomorrow, I'm gonna leave the cat stuff out because it's not gonna be perfect while he's here. Um, 
and the reason I'm more worried about him than my daughter is because my daughter's used to the cats. So, or not these cats, but used to having cats around because we've all, we've had a cat for a long time. So, um, he's allergic to them, but hopefully it won't be too bad. <laughs> and then, yeah, I'm almost done. So just a few more things that I'm going to put into my work bag and put my work bag to the side. And then I'll clear off the counter in the morning and I'm going to go shopping and I'll be done. So looking forward to seeing her tomorrow and her boyfriend because he's, um, he's a great guy for her. And that's what we're going to do. It'll be a fun weekend. But I'm tired because I stayed up late last night. Got up not super early this morning, but I got up a little bit earlier to get started on this stuff out here. And now I've got to go. i got to get some rest. But don't forget to be kind to others, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.